Here we've got an 18 horsepower Tahatsu that I'm sure is low on compression. We'll test that in a sec. Um, so yeah, gonna get into rebuilding this thing. Phew. All right, compression test. Okay. Put it on full throttle for compression test. Hundred and thirty PSI, that's not too bad. <sighs> so seventy five PSI, not good. Take the head off next and see if I can see any damage in this cylinder. Um, but yeah, that probably means the whole motor's got to come apart and yeah, probably replace one of the pistons and rings. Um, and hopefully the crank and everything's okay. I mean, it feels all right, but anyway, have a look. So as you pull, as, well as I pull things apart on motors, um, I like to try and keep everything as, as assembled as I can. And I take the actual bolts onto the components as they come off. Um, before I pull apart a motor, and yeah, when you're doing it, you should as well, take a picture of everything, each side of the motor, front and back, so that you can see how everything is laid out. Um, and it can save you down the track when you're putting it back together and you're thinking, oh, how did that go? Where did the wires run? Um, you know, all this sort of stuff. It's just way easier to have pictures of everything. Um, and as you pull things apart, put them all in little bags with, um, you know, power head bolts or something written on it um, so you know where the bolts go and what they're for. It's a good idea to uh, loosen off this nut whilst the power head's on the leg. Oh, it's already loosened off. There you go. Someone's probably already had this apart, it looks like. see that the uh, flywheel key there is snapped sheared off so half of it is up inside here and the other half of it yeah, is inside there so no wonder this was an unhappy motor hmm interesting problem so it's definitely had water in the bottom cylinder I'm very hopeful that it hasn't been up around the uh, crankshaft so 
hopefully, hopefully it's just because someone's transported the motor badly and water's run up in the exhaust port into that bottom. Anyway, pull this apart now and I'll know soon enough. All right, so this is a moment of truth under the reed plate. Uh, yeah, there's been water in the bottom cylinder. So, yeah, I'm assuming then that the crank may not be good. If there's rust on this, there's probably gonna be rust on the bearing surfaces. So I'll take the crankcase half apart and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Now I've got all the uh, crankcase half bolts out. Um, I will just pop this crankcase front off. That retainer there is a bit rusted in, so I'll have to try and get something under that. There we go. Ooh. Oh dear. Look at that. Is that bearing stuffed? Yeah, so that that to me is no good. That is such a shame. So yes, I need a new crank. Because the bearing in here is no good. That one can be easily be replaced. If it was just that, that would be all right. The block would clean up fine. <sighs> Damn it. 